Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, we welcome you, our audience, today in the University of Manitoba for the MSA elections. Today we have Team Baraka and we have Iqra from the team. Please, Iqra, introduce yourself to the people. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Iqra Tharif and I am running with Team Baraka for the president's position in the upcoming University of Manitoba Muslim Student Association elections. Iqra. How many members are in your team? There are eight members on my team. Um, the first is myself, Ikra Tariq. I'm running for president on Team Baraka. Then we have our internal relations manager, who is Adnan Al-Adabi. And then we have our external relations manager, that is Muhammad Susi We have our finance manager, um, Arij Al-Khafaji. We have our facility manager, who is Basil Abdul Aziz. We have our secretary, who is Sylvain Saleh. Our media manager, who is Umna Imran, and our student affairs manager, who is Khalid Zazi. Okay, what is the vision and mission of your team? The vision and mission, uh, the vision and mission of my team is uh, quite extensive. It's quite elaborate. We are focused on setting goals that are both balanced and um, united between our students. We want to lead our students side by side with our students, listen to their priorities, what they need, and we will be releasing a 21-point platform on our, on our social media page later today, inshallah. Okay. I knew that you have been born here. Yeah. Very good. So you know Winnipeg, you know the Manitoba weather and everything. What do you do for the newcomers who were not born in the harsh weather of Manitoba? How do you help them? What did you so, plan? Um, inshallah, we have a lot of plans to integrate the newcomers into our community. We want to be a home away from home and a family away from family for our new international students. We want to help them, especially through resourceful lists uh, that will help them find halal food in the city that will show them where they can buy their winter gear, if they're buying a house, what they will need in their house, and basic lists that will help them adjust to life here. We want to be their family during Ramadan, during Eid, and we want our community to be so united um, that all our visions, our missions, and our goals remain and together and we also want to help people build lifelong relationships and lifelong friendships through the MSA with each other. Do you have anything to say about the political issues sometimes? Because you know when there's a new student he might like divert or maybe he become a bad symbol of Muslims. Yes, yeah. So do you have something that to educate the newcomers how to behave or what to do? Um, we will. We will hold skill building workshops and halakas that take us back to the basics of Islam. We also want to have more um, free and open question and answer periods with scholars that will help them alleviate misconceptions, alleviate misconceptions for both Muslims and non-Muslims. We want to build a bridge between Muslims and their masjid so they feel um, that there is a home in their masjid and they come actively for events and resources. We know that we have the month of Ramadan. And the Muslim of Ramadan uh, is in for people to eat. Mm -hmm. What do you plan for in the month of Ramadan? So in 2017, I was uh, the logistical and planning manager of Ramadan at the University of Manitoba at MSA, and I helped plan Ramadan for over 250 people, and we organized meals and iftar for them every single day. And no matter the amount of students, I know my team is completely capable, inshallah, of handling Ramadan in a clean, effective, efficient, and organized manner for our students so they can have a far together as a family on our semester on campus. That's great. Now, what do you think you still didn't tell people who are watching you? I want to tell people to please ask your questions so you can get your answers and please exercise your right to vote on April 11th and 12th. In our masjid, if you are a registered member, voting is both your right and your responsibility and you must take that initiative yourself if you want to see a change in the MSA next year. Team Baraka is a promise for you. We will all be there tomorrow on April 9th to answer your questions during the MSA's Q&A in the masjid. If you can't make it, please feel free to message us on any of our social media pages and we will get back to you with your answers. Very good. You know that we are in the Arab Immigrants YouTube and Facebook are on equal opportunity and equal distance from every team here. We give you the chance to be like the other team two days ago. So your words will reach the audience and I hope you distribute this video between the 
students, so they know us. And if anybody wants anything later in the future, he can approach us and we can meet different, because I'm trying to do programs for the youth and the students. I want them, I'm a man who worked in media for 10 years. So I have experience which I want to use to help the students. Now we are trying to approach through the elections. Thank you very much, Ekra, for being with us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Our respected audience, you have seen both teams. Please do your turn by coming to the elections. Put your vote in the box. Thank you very much. Thank you.